What's up y'all, B-Dub the Anime Master is back for another anime discussion video. Today's anime discussion, anime, do you feel burned out? Intro, start. B-Dub the Anime Master, B-Dub the Anime Master, B-Dub the Anime Master, B-Dub the Anime Master, Dragon Ball Z the Anime Master, here we go, the Anime Master, Dragon Ball Z the Anime Master, here we go, the Anime Master. Now, here is an interesting uh, discussion I wanted to talk about for a while. Uh, some people have brought it up some, from time to time when I had anime discussions with people. Having the anime burnout. And what I mean by that is you watch so much fucking anime, you're just overwhelmed, and then you have this burnout period where you just can't watch any anime. Or you're not interested into watching any new anime or old anime. You just want to just have nothing to do with the anime for like a month or two, or maybe even longer than that. Anime burnouts. So, you know, it happens to, you know, a lot of people who have like really busy lives or they just can't really keep up with their anime collection if they collect anime or keep up with the anime streaming seasonal simulcast seasons and etc. You know, me personally, I never really have anime burnouts. You know, I would have like a moment where, well, moments where I just, you know, uh, take a week off from watching any kind of anime. And, and it really depends on whether or not I'm watching anything seasonal in that current season. And I'm not really watching anything else except for my collection, like Yu Yu Hakusho on Blu ray and my One Piece DVDs. That's pretty much it. But I do have moments where. You know, I just want to watch some live action uh, stuff like TV shows, you know, like Heroes, The Wire, shit like that. And I just want to just chill out, watch Netflix, you know, The Walking Dead and etc. And just don't watch anime for a couple of days or a week or so. I never really felt that overwhelming feeling where I have to start watching anime for like five months or something, you know. I'm not knocking people who do, who do that. I'm just saying that I never felt so overwhelmed like that, you know. And I watch a lot of anime. I watch more anime than I have in the past five to seven years. Uh, because, you know, this whole simulcast thing really upped my anime watching game, you know, because usually I used to watch my anime box sets and, you know, Naruto and Bleach, and then that's pretty much it, you know. I didn't really keep up with the whole seasonal scene because there was no real legal way to do it. And if there was, it, was, it would be a very terrible option, like Hulu or some shit, you know. But, um, you know, with Funimation and Crunchyroll and Hulu getting a little bit better, and not to mention Netflix, watching seasonal anime or just anime, you know, that's just available right there, English dub, English sub, NHD, you know, things have gotten to the point where, you know, you can be overwhelmed by so much anime, especially if you're new to anime and you want to catch up to the hot titles or great titles or shitty titles or whatever. You just want to, be, you know, consume more anime. And that's pretty cool, you know. But I never felt like, oh my God, I'm so overwhelmed, you know, some shit like that, you know. If I come even close to it, I would just take a one, two day break and just, you know, play some video games, uh, write some scripts and screenplays and just, you know, do other shit. Some advice I would give is watch maybe one or two shows at a time, you know. And if you're watching a long running show, watch that first, maybe one more short show, like 12, 13 episodes and just keep it like that and just, you know, watch those every week whenever you have time to watch anime. Never watch like a 500 episode anime series like Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball CGT, along with like, you know, Psycho Pass and Attack on Titan and, you know, Akame Got Kill or whatever. Like, never try to do all that if you feel like you don't have the time or you feel like it's just too much and you're just gonna just fucking explode, you know? It's an interesting topic, you know? Some people brought up anime burnouts, some people have movie burnouts or video game burnouts. Everybody has burnouts on certain things and hobbies they're really passionate about from time to time. I just never had an anime burnout. I just, you know, I just had never really had it. You know, I mean, I just haven't, you know? I'm, I'm more of an entertainer uh, or entertainment, you know, consumer. So I never really feel like I'm burned out. I'm always watching new TV shows or old classic good TV shows or new anime, reading new manga, playing new video games. So it's always a different thing for me. And that's why I never feel like I'm being burnt out or like it's just too much, you know, but. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Have you ever experienced an anime burnout or a manga burnout period? If so, let me know, maybe even make a video response. I'm interested and curious to hear you guys' stories. Uh, so that's about it. Anime burnouts, it can happen, but it's okay. It's okay. Anyway, uh, like I said, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. 
follow me on Twitter. Check out my Facebook fan page. Give it a like. The links are in the description. Stay tuned for more anime, manga, and video game related videos, gameplay, streams, and let's plays, and etc. As far as the video games, I'm B Dub, the Anime Master. Peace. B Z, the Anime Master. Here we go, the Anime Master.